if you watch us often, you know one of our reporters, Rick Kirkham, is nuts. Rick likes to jump out of planes, jump off platforms with some kind of bungee thing attached to him, etc. Well, now Kirkham wants to be a Hollywood stuntman. Go ahead, Rick. Be right with you, lady. What I like about stunts, I guess, is that you get an immediate gratification. You know if it's good or bad right then and there. Can you take a rookie like myself and uh, show me how this works firsthand? I did a fire stunt about a year after I started, and I was burned pretty badly. You can probably see some of it. They are the scenes that light up the silver screen, the scenes that put the punch into westerns and add a real kick to the action adventures. They are stunts, and very often, they are dangerous. In the mall, there was these huge pillars, and at the split second, I happened to glance and see it, and I shoved myself against the door, and the pillar glanced off the side of my back. And if I hadn't seen that, if I hadn't pulled in, I could have been killed. Chuck Norris is famous for his own stunt work in many of his movies, Special but even guy, Norris you know, admits that no one can match up to a professional stuntman. No, stunts are, are very, very difficult. They're very precise type things. When I say I do stunts, I do stunts that I feel I can do. Mike Johnson is a master stuntman in Hollywood. Johnson recently worked with Norris in the soon-to-be-released movie Sidekicks. Mike is a trained stunt coordinator as well, the guy who plans out all those snazzy stunt scenes. And Mike says nothing is more eye-catching in the movies than fire. They're one of the most dangerous stunts, you know, because accidents can happen. Uh, I never thought I would ever get burned, and I got burned one time on the Cobra. Bumps and bruises are one thing, but being burned on the job is serious business. So why do people like Mike and Kane Hodder, the stuntman in the movie Friday the 13th Part 7, keep coming back for more? As bizarre as it sounds, I feel comfortable with fire. And uh, it's, it's a fun stunt to do, because it looks so dramatic. Stuntmen say it's the element of danger that addicts professional stuntmen to their jobs. A certain calculated risk that pumps adrenaline into the system during any kind of stunt work, whether it be a live stunt show or one precisely timed for the movie cameras. Yeah, even as simple a thing as a fight, uh, there are dangers in the fight. When it comes to movie making stunts, such as fight sequences and gunfights, nobody does it better than the folks here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So we decided to take you inside and show you exactly how these incredible stunts are pulled off. These guys not only perform live stunt shows several times a day, they all work as TV and movie stuntmen as well. So when I asked them to include me in a Western sequence and show me how the gunfights and all are done, they were more than happy to let me stand in for a while. What I want to know is how good is he with the whip? Uh, we'll find out. I, I'm getting better. <laughs> You're getting better. <laughs> The two days like of my that? training Just for a reaction? Western scene complete with stunts required exhausting training in everything from how to fall All right. <laughs> to the safe and proper use of guns, even how to yeah. take and really give a punch. Yeah. What, what if I knock you out? Then you'll hear from my lawyer. <laughs> okay, so boom on the second time. Right. It was a grueling crash course in stunt work, but the anticipation had oh, built. Okay, so All right, right, John, I think I've got it down now. Are we ready to do this? Well, we do have one more stop. What's that? Wardrobe. <laughs> All right, let's go. And now was my chance. Kirkham, I know you're in there. Come on out. My only thought was of the one thing the stunt coordinator had drilled into me all along. Always have eye contact with the other actor or stuntman. But staring down this guy only made him and his friends mad. And that's where the action began.
having tackled the set at Universal, I decided to take on stunt coordinator Mike Johnson's offer to experience the ultimate, a full body burn, rarely done by amateurs. Because the face will be covered with flames, a tiny oxygen bottle with a mouthpiece is concealed in the suit. After the clothing is put on, the mouthpiece goes in, the protective mask goes on, and a highly flammable gel is smeared from head to toe. Then, with a mere touch of the flame, it was instant Kirkham kebab. Hey, Mike, you get the charcoal. Inside the suit, all you see is what appears to be the world around you on fire. But you can definitely feel the heat and hear the flames licking at your body. And, as luck would have it, one of those little accidents that happened now and then struck. The fire extinguishers failed to put me out, and Mike had to take charge of the emergency. When it comes to stunts and the men that make them happen, Chuck Norris sums it up best. They're very, very capable guys. I, I admire stuntmen to the utmost because they're the ones that make us all look good. And immediately after that story, Rick did return to the home. He is okay. The average stuntman earns less than $10,000 a year, making it a part-time job for most. And Inside Edition will be right back.